Welcome to our full year 2022 results presentation. I will start with an overview of the highlights of the year, and then I will give you some more details on our financial figures. After that, I will give you an update on the development of our business, and finally, I will conclude with our guidance. Let me start by giving you an overview of the key business developments in the year on slide two. Demand for our equipment was very strong, resulting in an order intake of 586 million, up 18% year on year driven by the strength of the growth of the end markets our customers are serving. In fact, the 2022 order intake was the second best order intake in the 40 year history of Extron. I'm very pleased that the area of power electronics based on the material systems of gallium nitride, GAN, and silicon carbide, SIC, have been the strongest demand drivers representing the majority of our equipment order intake for the year. Orders for our silicon carbide power solutions have more than tripled year on year. This strong development is a result of major capacity expansion activities of our customers, but also a great success of our new G10 thick multi-wafer system. This product is being adopted by our customers in an amazing speed since the launch in Q3 2022 due to its excellent production cost per wafer proposition. We now have a highly competitive tool in the market and with this, we very much look forward to the wafer size transition from six inch wafers to eight inch, as this is a trigger point for many customers to reassess their existing tool base. I think we can say that for SIG at Extron, we have now also reached the tipping point of a broad market adoption, similar to what we have seen for GAN some years ago. While we have seen an acceleration of demand for silicon carbide orders, orders for GAN power electronics also continue to grow year on year, reflecting our customers' aspiration to replace the incumbent material silicon with gallium nitride-based solutions in more and more applications. In summary, I'm happy to repeat that the biggest demand drivers for Q4 of last year were our systems for silicon carbide and GAN power electronics. Demand for laser tools in the area of optoelectronics also remains strong. Demand for tools to produce LEDs is mainly driven by micro-LED production orders more than offsetting lower demand for traditional LED tools. As a result of the continuous order momentum and partially of the delayed export licenses last year, due to which we were not able to ship all tools we had produced in 2022, we can report a strong order backlog of 352 million euros, up 64% year on year. Overall, we could grow our annual revenues by 8% year on year to 463 million euros. Our gross margin ended up at 42% and our EBIT margin at 22%. With this, we have successfully mastered the global supply chain issues of the year 2022 and also maneuvered around some of the delays in export licenses that required us to shift some production slots back and forth within the year 2022. In this place, I would also like to emphasize the great achievement of the entire Extron team that has made all this possible in a difficult year 2022, so that we were able to fully deliver on our upgraded 2022 growth guidance in all aspects. Now I will take you through the full year 2022 financials. Let me start with the financial highlights on our income statement on slide three. As just mentioned, orders in the quarter and the year continue to be strong and our backlog was up, fueled by the explained strength in demand. Revenues in 2022 were at 463 million, gross profit at 195 million, both up 8% year on year. EBIT at 105 million and net profit was at 100 million for the year, were both up 6% year on year. Quarterly revenues at 183 million euros in Q4, even beat the very strong level of 181 million euros in the same quarter last year. Both gross margin and EBIT margin in 2022 were on the same levels as the corresponding margins in 2021, which were 42% and 23% respectively. OPEX in the year went up to 91 million euros, predominantly driven by higher variable compensation elements and higher personnel costs, due to more staff combined with slightly higher R&D spending. In fiscal year 2022, Extron has primarily driven the completion of new product generations. In 2022, we also completed a major publicly funded development project, which is why we recorded 
less other operating income from grants at 5 million euros compared to a year ago at 9 million euros. In 2022, we again utilized tax loss carry forwards and capitalized some additional deferred tax assets in the amount of 9 million euros due to expected future profits. Now to our balance sheet on slide four. Partially due to the mentioned shifted shipments and mainly due to the preparation for higher deliveries in subsequent quarters, inventory levels at the end of 2022 went up to 224 million euros compared to 121 million at the end of 2021. The advance payments received from customers were significantly up year on year at 141 million from 77 million a year before, also indicating higher levels of shipments to be expected. The down payments represented about 40% of order backlog. All this led to a total cash balance, including other financial assets of 325 million euros, which was below the 352 million we had on the books last year. Just a quick word on our free cash flow on the next slide. Free cash flow in the fourth quarter was 8 million euros compared to 49 million in 2021. The difference compared to the previous year is mainly related to temporary working capital effects like the mentioned increase in inventories and high accounts receivables due to the very late shipments in December 22. We have also increased our investments in property plan and equipment, especially into R&D related lab equipment and extensions. Before giving you our updated view on the outlook for this year, I would like to share some highlights, highlights on our market development on slide six. The momentum remains strong in all areas. We see capacity buildup or expansion activities in most of our addressed end markets. In particular, the area of wide band gap power electronics based on gallium nitride and silicon carbide has developed very strongly, now representing the biggest contributor to orders and revenues in addition to the contribution from optoelectronics and micro LEDs. Let's now take a deeper look at the area of sig based power electronics. Here we see the demand accelerating, especially since we launched our new G10 SIG technology solution in Q3 of last year. Since then, this tool was received so well by customers that it's now already representing the vast majority of all our orders for our SIG manufacturing solutions suggesting a similar development in revenues going forward. With the G10 SIG, we have again made a great step forward in the tool performance. In combination with our multi-wafer output, this enables our customers to produce silicon carbide devices at a highly competitive cost position. And we strongly believe that cost will be one of the major decision criteria in this market. Beyond the current volume ramp of the industry driven by the fast adoption of battery electric vehicles, we see further demand down the line driven by governmental policies pushing toward electric vehicles similar to what we have seen from EU lawmakers having banned the sale of new CO2 emitting cars from 2035. Furthermore, we see the widespread promotion of renewable energies as very positive for the broad adoption of silicon carbide based power solutions. Therefore, we believe that demand for our SIG manufacturing solutions will be the strongest growth driver for Extron in 2023 and possibly even beyond. We observe a similar trend for our equipment in the area of GAN based power electronics, which continues to be in high demand by our customers. We see large industry players expanding their capacity at scale while we continue to see new players entering the arena of GAN power. The adoption of GAN replacing the incumbent material silicon is going full steam ahead. The GAN market volumes are growing steadily, driven by our customers tapping into more and more sub-segments of the vast power electronic space, such as the efficient conversion of residential solar power or even home appliances. Today's market participants have to increasingly make an active choice between fab investments into incumbent silicon-based device manufacturing or the novel wideband gap materials such as GAN or SIG. In addition to the much higher energy efficiency and resulting power savings, this is the main driver for the acceleration in GAN power. 
for the gallium arsenide indium phosphide material systems, we have just launched our new high volume manufacturing platform, G10 ASP. It marks a major step forward, both in the area of red micro LEDs and also in the segment of high performance lasers and pixels. To all these three applications, the new G10 ASP offers the value of much lower particles, uniformity is improved by a factor of 2x to 3x, and a significantly reduced consumption of process gases, which translates to a re reduction of cost per wafer. We observed that the development work towards micro-LED solutions continued at the vast majority of our large customers, despite spending cuts in other areas of these companies. At this stage, it seems that not all techno technological challenges for mass production, such as the process of mass transfer of pixels, have yet been solved. But given the focus and dedication of our customers, we are convinced that the micro-LED displays will become the next generation display technology. In other areas of consumer electronics, we have seen a remarkable slowdown of related investments of our customers in the second half, while FAB extensions in telecom datacom did continue on a fairly stable basis. With that, let me now present you our full year guidance for 2023 on slide seven. First of all, it's important to note that we have adjusted our US dollar euro budget exchange rate at which we record US dollar denominated orders and backlog for 2023 to $1.15 uh, per euro from $1.20 per euro the year before. This has just a minor effect on orders and backlog as only less than one third of those are recorded in US dollars. Secondly, please note that we expect to have a positive extraordinary revenue effect from the shift of units that have been produced in 2022 and will be shipped and recognized as revenues in 2023. Based on strong customer demand, we expect orders for 2023 in the range of 600 and 680 million euros. In 2023, we expect total revenues in a range of 580 to 640 million euros. This includes the above mentioned shift of units that had been assembled already in 2022 and will ship in the course of this year. We expect a gross margin of around 45% and an EBIT margin between 25 and 27% for 2023. In summary, we expect a double digit growth of the Extron business in 2023, driven by the strong demand from power electronics and in particular for our new G10 SIG tool. With that, I will conclude my presentation of our full year 22 results. And I thank you very much for your interest 